Hi, it's Joanne. Today I'm going to be watching Winona Earp, season four, episode five, Holy War part one, which is stressful because it's part one and then there's a part two and then that's all we're getting until they've managed to finish filming the rest, um, or at least it's the mid-season finale. So it's part one of the mid-season finale and after that ending with Nicole, I am very stressed. And um, this has been such a fantastic season so far and I just feel like things are finally like rolling and yet we're all gonna crash and it's gonna this episode's gonna hurt because it's a part one I have a feeling um if you would like to watch the unedited version of this reaction and all my other reactions are up on my patreon right now and you can also sponsor shows and do all the usual patreon sort of things and I talk about books up there and I don't know lots of stuff but yes I'm so ready for this episode let's go Nicole what is going on you guys are my family I'm very stressed so. I'm very stressed Oh, where's Waverly? Yeah, well, I know we'll be walking Waverly down the aisle. Not after what you did. Oh no, is this like a demon attack vision thing? What? <laughs> what? Nicole, it's gonna be okay. I don't know how, but it is. Oh my gosh, she's, she's home? And their house is on fire. Oh my god. Is this real? This is real, and I don't like it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is the house burning down right now, people? Sleep anymore? <laughs> now that you're <laughs> benefits of my condition. I wanted him to also go. <laughs> oh, she'll be okay. Everyone's gonna be okay. Yeah, she's gonna be okay. Was this Oh god, please guess not I know what I did. No. Hands from stubborn wood. Somebody used to call my last boyfriend. Oh god. Inappropriate. Because he died or because he's Waverly's angel dad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is someone going to disagree? Is it Nicole or was okay, she controlled so by the demon the stuff? Because she's us. not remembering that that happened. I'm so happy you finally brought her here to meet me. Well, she goes where she pleases. Yes. It's only a coward and set fire to home for women. God. Sexist. Very sexist. Only a cow would set fire numbers. to a home no, full of numbers. sleeping people. He does. Does he? I don't trust him. Do we trust him? I am the captain now. By order of BBD. Mm hmm. You came. Oh. We came. Jeremy. Hey. Oh. Kind of fell off the face of the earth on me. Yeah. Keep up law and order for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hug. Yay. Oh, so good to be home. <laughs> and in your arms. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Nicole. Is she looking out for her, for Billy? Because yeah, something terrible has happened to him. Ghost River Triangle had a museum. Literally everyone. But you're the only gets chosen to stay here. A sacred space for geeks. <laughs> yes. That is your great great grandfather. Wonders. You think she'd have been brought here at some point to see him, like the video? You're not the air bear. Would you have called more often if I was? Oh. On my phone that was being monitored. Jeremy. They need to talk. When Nicole needs to do so much talk, she needs to talk to oh, Winona and... Is... Oh, Nicole, what's wrong? Oh, I can't wait anymore. Oh, God. So this is what so happened. Nicole them from the really went through hell. <laughs> but she didn't save them from the garden, so Nicole shouldn't have to keep up her end. Oh, I couldn't have promised that. Oh. Oh, my God. You ate a billion frogs. Oh my god. Jeremy, the whole the time for literalness. I was glad when Doc Holliday took the first shot. What's the point of no. I did not shoot. You know, I do not have the luxury of growing old and forgetting all the things I have done. Oh. You call it a luxury. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finally, I have cause for You know, you could have just moved on and had a life that wasn't bound into your history. Teachers in town, it could be anything. A warlock, an incubus, a spongebob. Aww, good oh. research. Sort <laughs> of. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. She gonna write frog. By sperm. <laughs> I think they're tadpoles. 
that that makes much more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still hot. <laughs> you can't just like take stuff. Wise words from a leader of tomorrow. <laughs> Get... In fact, have tattoos of that symbol on there. Great story. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're making themselves known. This is why Nona gone because they only like women because they're like sisters. You're a man. Right, you've heard of me. Wait, is that great? <laughs> this sanctuary. This is cool. Cleansing for and you break it, you bought it. Ooh, well, that's a much nicer picture. I don't want the painting. <laughs> I want the woman in the painting. Oh god. And I want my sword gun back. <laughs> and you listen to me, god. <laughs> Doink it. Why the fuck would I want to? I love you, Winona. Oh, man. Do not have the luxury of being neutral in times of war. Mm. And this is a war. And I'm stressed about Nicole. He drew first. He drew out, drew you. What do I? Well, to be honest, I don't necessarily think you currently deserve a bullet, but you could just like chill on the whole trying to wipe out the herbs. Would have us both fight to the death. Well, then don't. He's fighting to protect. The Earps didn't even know the Clantons were in town until they started attacking them. Guess we gotta talk about the engagement. Yes, and you also need to talk yeah. about like what happened. Beyond just the Clanton thing. To make it okay, scenario, we do it wrong and you turn into a demon dog. Ooh, pass. Yeah, pass, pass, pass. We drown you in salted holy water. Drown me? You caught that part, huh? Yeah, I'm <laughs> not drowning my girlfriend. Oh god. Ratio of ingredients. Your intestines might turn to snakes. These really were the only choices. Oh. Okay. Rachel, you shouldn't be here alone. Frogs, next will be fiery hail and locusts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would take a lot more than some Egyptian plagues to keep me from wanting to marry your sister. What are you two waiting for? I'm scared Waverly won't want to when she finds out what I did. Oh. I just yelling. Make her actively rejected me today. You want me to frog barf on her? <laughs> <laughs> there are no good men left. I'm dead. I'm good Steve's. But oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, I'm gonna just go check on that cure. Oh god, oh god, I'm so stressed. Oh no, she's been taken over. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh my god! What? Sorry. Oh, quick, kill me, save something. Okay. Oh my god, she's getting a knife! Run, 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 my children! Oh, Nicole! Oh my god, at least she's. I mean. Is she after Winona because she's the Earp? And Doc because he's Doc Holiday and not after Waverly and Jeremy? Are they both fine or? we are storming the fucking castle and by castle. Oh, and Rachel's there. Of gasoline. Oh. Yep. Without Peacemaker, this is a suicide mission. I agree. You need to go make peace with Peacemaker. This is part one. Oh my god, I knew it. I used to think like this was gonna. Behind you, sweetie. Hello? Literally. Oh, he's been. A... Oh, hopefully, we can save him. Oh, one thing. <gasps> I love you. Oh, you really gosh. Are no matter what happens, those are the truest words I'll ever speak. Oh, what was her plan with Jeremy? You don't have another choice. Are they drowning her or something? No, 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 no. Which one are they trying? So sorry that I spent the last year and a half trying to kill you. Well, to be fair, I was a pup ball master. <laughs> and I did eat several people's- I need you to kill me. Oh, yeah. I'm stressed, but we're gonna- It's gonna be fine, you're gonna get revived. It's all gonna be fine. Who is it? Who is it? Coming with us. Oh. I did wonder why they mentioned her earlier. Interesting. Oh. I know, sweetheart. Nicole agreed to this. Nicole agreed to this, sweetheart. I know how this looks, but I'm asking you to trust us. 
I do trust you. It's one of the rituals in the book. It's all gonna be fine. <sighs> okay, so that was another really good episode. I definitely think it felt like a part one, but that's, it is a part one, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, Nicole did something bad. She agreed, I guess she agreed to this, this curse. She agreed to kill them all if, or kill one owner and Doc at least, if they were safe from the garden. I mean, Waverly is a, a lover, but she's not like biologically enough. So I don't know if the whole, if she'd want all of them dead, um, maybe just to be thorough. But, you know, I could kind of see if you get to that desperate point, if you agree to do that because you truly believe that they'll be able to stop you, that they'll be able to, you know, they'll be safe and then they'll figure out what's happening and they'll save you because you have faith in them. I don't necessarily think that was, you know, Nicole being like, yeah, it's cool, I'll kill them. But the whole thing of her, so obviously she forgot the deal she made or forgot maybe the full extent of it because she was like, I could never agree to that. And then obviously that, that she managed, the thing is inside of her and takes control of her, she forgot that that happened, she set that house on fire, she set, tried to stab people. I mean, <laughs> I'm very stressed for Nicole because she's been through so much, but hopefully the second half of this season will be kind of healing for Nicole. I'm hoping we're gonna, you know, she's gonna be revived. It's totally fine. She's agreed to this, which is very much atoning for her actions more than anything. I mean, being drowned. Um, I'm hoping that the second half of the season is gonna be Nicole getting to just rest and heal. Okay, yeah, there'll be stress going on, but for like her like personal journey, her kind of getting to a better place and her feeling like she can accept Waverly's proposal and maybe we can end with the wedding and that would be nice. But you know, like that's what I'm hoping, but this was a hard one to watch with her suffering so much with her, with what she did. And you know, a year and a half and she didn't give, she gave up that they could get out by themselves, but that was because she was blamed as well. It wasn't even just that, she gave up on her own ability to find them. Um, if she'd have been told, our oh, time works differently in the garden, it's only been a couple of hours for them, she probably would have been able to wait longer. You know, like she didn't know. So I don't have any blame for Nicole and she's beaten herself up enough for all of us. But I love the whole team kind of running around her to protect her and wanting to go and like kill the Clantons. I'm also very stressed about Rachel because obviously she very much cares about Billy and I want him to be okay. I'm hoping that whatever, that turning him into one of their wraith things is undoable it's fixable but right now she's in a very stressful situation because she's in that room he's right behind her and she's not going to be able to kill him necessarily or if she does it's going to severely mess her up and i mean also i don't think you can just kill those wraiths and vice there's a slim chance that maybe enough of billy is in there that he will be able to like tell her to run or restrain himself refrain from hurting her but i am just concerned about that especially as you know the rest of us are not about to head to the Clanton Ranch at Rot, and she didn't tell anyone where she was. Then the uh, woman scorned being Rosita. I did, when we saw her in that picture and they mentioned her, I did kind of assume, think, oh, maybe she's going to come back into it at some point, even though she's a revenant, the revenant's all gone. I didn't think she was going to be the woman scorned. I probably should have put that together, but I didn't. But that is interesting. Like, how is she there? Is she knowing we're a revenant? What exactly? Like, a lot of stuff has happened, a lot of stuff went down with her. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where it goes next with her and when anyone needs to get Peacemaker back and I, th I think she will. I believe in I believe in their bond. But yeah, that was a lot. And I think it's really fascinating to have Doc questioning the morality of it all because yeah, like, the Wild West was a was a, a wild place. But it was a place where there were murders and, you know, outlaws and just because you were a sheriff you could just kill an outlaw. And you know, like nowadays we would not be happy with the police shooting first, you know. So I, I can see why he's questioning that and maybe questioning their legacy. And the whole thing with the Clantons, if they just tried to wipe out the family and they shot first, you know, has Doc remembered it that the Clantons shot first and they were defending themselves? That is different. Um so I think it's interesting having Doc wrestle with this legacy. I also think that Holt, is that her name? I don't know. That the other sheriff dude, the mean sheriff dude. He and the sister aren't as evil as the mum. They don't particularly enjoy being Clantons or their mum. So there is maybe some hope that they could break free from this. Like, why do you need to be obsessed with your family's curse? I mean, I don't know much about my history at all, but the bits I do know about my family history, I don't feel like, oh, I must now do this thing. I mean, I am half Australian and one of my ancestors was a convict sent to Australia because he stole an, a, he stole a duck, basically like poaching and he'd been caught for like stealing apples. Basically he was a hungry person, he was like 17, got caught a lot for trying to steal food. I don't now feel some great connection that I need to a steal ducks or avoid ducks or atone for stealing ducks or whatever, you know, like family histories are interesting to be like, oh wow, I'm descended from this person that had a shootout with the what the herbs. That is a fascinating piece of history. You don't need to build your life on it. And I get that the mum, the ma'am is very much building her life on it and that there's like some sort of curse or charm that gets passed down. But they maybe could make better choices. 
I don't know. I don't have much faith. Billy definitely was making better choices. So if their youngest sibling can make better choices, they can too. But yeah, that was that was a lot. So I'm Doc has a lot to work through. I mean, even him becoming a vampire was it's been useful. He's been able to save, like suck the venom out one owner and stuff, but also he he was gonna grow old potentially with her and have a normal life, and that scared him so much. I thought going to hell scared him so much that he became a vampire and they haven't really worked through that and dealt with that so this season has been quite past season but very fast paced i do wonder if we're going to get some time for them to actually process everything that they've been through um i'm still very intrigued about what happened with robin like did he and jeremy just break up is that what jeremy does jeremy not want to talk about that or has something else happened with robin um but yeah i'm so glad jeremy's back with the team and jeremy's going to be jeremy dressed like jeremy and you know i think he and nicole have both survived in whatever way they could and there might be some resemblance there but I don't think again they're not going to be long-term resemblance but yeah I'm really enjoying this I'm quite stressed for next week um only one episode left until we go on a break on a hiatus and yeah this is a fantastic show if you would like to watch the unedited version of this reaction you can check it out on my patreon and yeah thank you so much for watching